Welcome to the Advisory Science Channel. How can we describe rocks? It's useful to group rocks based on their properties, like size, shape and colour. Or even by feel, like bumpy or smooth. Some rocks have grains packed tightly with no spaces inside them, and this makes them quite heavy. Water can't get inside them. We call these rocks non-porous, and examples are slate and granite. But some rocks do have spaces inside them. We call them porous rocks. Water and air can get inside the spaces. The water inside them is called groundwater, and it's very important because we can use this water for drinking or watering crops. Examples are sandstone and limestone. Some rocks are hard to break, while others are soft and crumbly. A man named Frederick Morris found a way to test rock hardness. A harder rock will scratch the surface of a softer rock. It's called a scratch test. Did you know diamond is the hardest rock and talc is the softest? Diamond can scratch anything, but talc, even a fingernail can scratch it. We use rocks for different things based on their properties, like slate for roofs because it keeps water out, or chalk for drawing as it wears down easily. Why not check out the free resources for this and other lessons? Or inquire about the full curriculum. Link in bio.